Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the um, a button's background color uh, depending if a user has selected it or not. So by selected, I mean uh, the user has clicked on it and is holding it, and then once they let go, it'll go back to the old color. Um, but it doesn't just have to be changing background color, it can actually be anything, just holding it um, when it's selected. So I'll show you guys how to do it. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to create a button and we'll just create a quick button here and I'll just add 100 there and 100 there. It's probably going to give me an error but we'll just ignore it for now since uh, I want to keep it as a fixed width. So once we've done that I'll just drag this button in and yeah. so. What we're going to do is actually going to create two functions. So one function is going to be for um, normal mode. Wait, let's call it button normal mode. And in this one, we're just going to set the demo button dot background color to red. And then let's create another function. And I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so that it doesn't take up too much space. Button selected. And as far as I know, I know if you want to set the title color, you can just set it for state selected. But I don't think there's an option to set background color like that. Like if I just search up set background, see so you can see there's set background image, but not set background color. So I'll show you guys how to do. It. So if we just for when the button is selected, we want to set the background color. Uh, background color. Let's set it to green. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some actions so the first action is going to be for when the person uh, touches down so basically this is as soon as the user clicks and let's call this button touch down and let's print inside touch down and let's also create another outlet and this is going to be for touch up and um, We'll just leave that there and let's call this button touch up okay and we'll print touch up okay now what I'm going to do is just make sure that this is all working fine so if I just load this in and we will just check this is all working so if I print this, you can see it touched down, and when I let go, I it says touch up. So down, up. Okay, and now I'm sure you can understand what we're going to do. So when we touch down, we're going to call the button normal mode function, and when we touch up, actually no, no I'm doing it the wrong way. When we touch down, we want it to change, so you can do button selected, and when we touch up, we want it to go back to normal, so we can just set it back to normal mode like this and then inside of these functions you can just configure your button but yeah so you can see if I let go um, actually what we should do is when a view loads we should just run the button normal mode once so that it actually um, has the background color okay so now you can see we have a red button and it has a red button like this and when I select it it turns green let go and it goes back to red so yeah, that's basically it. And inside of this, you don't just have to change the button text. Like you could just do anything you want when the button's selected. Um, and yeah, you can just configure your button here and things. We've just changed the background color, but you could do some other stuff. So if you wanted the um, button to have rounded corners or something, we could do demo button dot layer dot. Uh, I think it's corner radius, and we'll just set it to five like that. And now you'll see that um, Oh, one thing you do need to to do is to revert the changes you make over here so what if I want it to only be have corner radius inside of the selected then we also need to revert it back over here so now you'll see uh, you can't really see it that well let me make it 30 so you can really see it but yeah so you can see if I select it uh, the corner radius changes and that's a weird um, 
artifact but I'm sure if you just apply some more uh, properties uh, such as mask uh, I forgot what it was called but the mask one where it doesn't allow things to go out of bounds I think it's mask out of bounds said that's true and that should be fixed but yeah basically this is how you do it so have two actions one for touchdown and one for touch up and honestly I don't actually know how they differentiate between them in code but there must be something hidden uh, behind the scenes but yeah um, just have one for touchdown one for touch up and then just call these two functions in the respective ones and this is where you configure your buttons so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye